What's going on folks, J-Pod here bringing you some Titanfall 2 free PlayStation Plus gameplay today. Um, today's video, which I haven't really done any videos in a long time, uh, apologize about that first and foremost. Uh, but yeah, today's kind of an update video. We'll talk about some upcoming games, The Last of Us 2, we'll talk about an update, uh, what's going on in my life. I got a few big announcements and... Um, you know, just kind of kick your feet up, crack open your favorite beverage. I'm drinking a frosty beer. Um, America. Ah, that's a delicious, delicious craft beer. Today we're drinking an IPA. It's pretty stout. It's uh, Sierra Nevada, uh, out of Chico, California. Um, uh, Chico, 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 something like that. Uh, but point is, it's a cold, cold frosty beer. So join me. Enjoy the B-roll. Got some Titanfall 2. It recently became free on the PlayStation Plus. Uh, I've never played it. I've never played the first one. Uh, it, I've never played the second one. So as soon as I saw it come on PlayStation Plus for free, I read some of the comments, and there's a lot of praise in the comment section, uh, especially uh, on Reddit, especially uh, now that the PlayStation 4 Titanfall player base has skyrocketed since the release of the free Titanfall on PlayStation Plus. So if you haven't downloaded it, um, you know, I've, I've only got a few games in it. Uh, I'm, I think I'm a level six, so I've only played a handful of matches. Uh, attrition is this kind of uh, overall base. You got grunts and players, titans everywhere. It's, it's pretty wild. I mean, especially play, if you're playing on a big screen, mounted on the wall in 4K, I mean, this, this, this game is cocaine for your eyes. It's insane how, how beautiful this game is. And again, I've never played it, so this is all brand new to me. Or, um, another thing, I've been hearing great things about the campaign. Um, a lot of people are saying one of the best first-person shooter campaigns ever. Haven't delved into it yet. I'm enjoying the multiplayer, so I will be playing the campaign here soon. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about Titanfall 2 coming from the PlayStation Plus? Uh, it's it's free, so what the what isn't there to like? So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on from Titanfall 2. Let's talk about 6,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. There's a lot of you out there that have been following me for years. I mean, for years. So, from me to you, thank you so much for 6,000 subs. I, I really do. I sincerely appreciate all that love. Uh, smash that like button for 6,000 subs, man. Let's see if we can get... Uh, uh, six likes because I don't ask for much <laughs> um, but yeah 6,000 subs that's awesome round of applause let's let's drink a beer ah, America all right so moving on to an update in my life okay and all jokes aside I have a baby on the way I have a baby um, scheduled for delivery on February 29th and if you don't know what February 29th is, that's leap day. Yes, 2020 is a leap year, so February 29th, you have your birthday every four years. You can celebrate it on the last day of February or the first day of March. It's really up to the person um, as they kind of grow up. But yes, for a baby, a leaping baby. And throwing some statistics out here real quick. Uh, one in 1,500, you guys will have to Google it for me. Uh, one in 1,500 is a leap person, a leap baby. So a leaping baby coming to Dubois County. So that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. My wife and I have been trying for a very long time, um, five, six years now. Um, we've we've uh, been through a lot. We've absolutely been through um, a lot, through hell and back. And uh, now we she's uh, seven months pregnant, going on seven months pregnant got about uh, 11 weeks to go so the third trimester uh, my wife is amazing you know she she's not the stereotypical hormonal raging wife that just want to uh, there's a movie that her and I watched it was like uh, uh, something about being pregnant and it was a bunch of bunch of stories and there's just this 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 scene where she's like I love you but I just want to punch you in the fucking face <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, her and I we were absolutely rolling on that when we watched that. So that's one of my that's what it, that's what it reminds me of to the stereotypical hormonal uh, pregnant wife. My wife has not been that way. Has not been that way. She is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. 
Um, so yeah, baby on the way. Uh, we're gonna have a spring baby. That's that's fantastic, you know. And and they say that's the best, you know. The worst is like uh, having it, you know, in the middle of the summer when it's ball sweating hot. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a, a late winter, early uh, early spring baby. That's that's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, as far as names go, um, I really don't care about the names. We just want a healthy baby. Um, you know, we're, we're, we don't know the sex. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Even at six, seven months, we've declined to um, uh, receive that information from all of the uh, ultrasounds and everything. And uh, so, yeah, we're going Old Testament. We're going old school. We're not finding out. And the in-laws are pissed. <laughs> oh, man, my father-in-law, man. It's just it's, you crush his spirit when we're having a big group conversation, you know, at a little get-together at a barbecue. And he's talking about gender reveals. You know, yeah, we're thinking about doing this, you know, golf ball, pink or blue. And, and I had to reiterate to him. I said, Brian, we're not having a uh, uh, gender reveal. And well, that's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Love you, Brian, but sorry, bud. It's totally sorry, man. Um, so yeah, we're not going to know the sex. You know, we're we're stocking up on on gender neutral colors, oranges and grays, and and, and things like that. You know, stocking up on uh, uh, diapers. Oh man, you know, after trying for to have a child so long. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the poopy diapers and the, and, the, and, the, and the sleepless nights for weeks on end. I mean, I, I, I have siblings. My wife has siblings. Uh, my little brother-in-laws, I've known them since they were five. You know, they're 21 now. So, um, you know, I, 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 I'm well aware of um, everything except for the sleepless nights. You know, I mean, I've, I've changed a poopy diaper before and, uh, you know, I can actually say I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, awesome baby on the way. Uh, leap, leap, leaping baby, potentially, potentially. You know, we're already at the 100 percentile um, and we still have 11 weeks to go. So, um, you know, we might go early, you know, we're, we're I mean, the, the doctors, he really wants to add that to his resume. He didn't say that, but you can just see him and my wife getting giddy about February 29th, because it's pretty cool, once every four years. So, on your, on your uh, child's second birthday, which they would be, you know, um, or we'll say, we'll say a third birthday, just one more year and you can start driving on your fourth year, on your fourth birthday, you can start driving. That's pretty wild if you think about that. All right, so let's move on to other things. Um, I'm gonna pull up some information on The Last of Us 2. But before we get to that, let's talk about games. Games that I've played, games that I've enjoyed, games that I thought were shit. Um, first and foremost, Obsidian's Outer Worlds was awesome. I played it on PC, Ultra Settings, I signed up for the Game Pass, which was a, a nice little loophole for Obsidian. So thank you so much, Obsidian, for letting me play that game for a dollar. I played it for about two and a half weeks and uh, definitely got my dollar's worth. So um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Again, thank you for Microsoft Pass. And actually, that was my first and only time ever using uh, Microsoft Pass. But pretty much there was this loophole to where you could sign up for Pass for a buck and uh, Obsidian's Outer Worlds was one of the free games with Game Pass, so you were able to get it that way. Here's the best part, okay? Here's the best part. I gotta take a sip of my beer. So after two and a half weeks of playing it, I went to go uh, unsubscribe from, from Game Pass, because uh, again, I mean, there wasn't, I, mean, I don't play a lot of PC games. I play a few, um, but not a lot. I'm playing uh, Skyrim. I've never finished Skyrim, so uh, I got that from my little bro-in-law. Uh, thank you, Loke. And uh, so Skyrim's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, as far as PC games, I really don't play them, but I had to play Outer Worlds, especially if it was just for a buck. So here's the best part. When I went to go cancel my subscription, they asked me if I wanted my dollar refunded, and I said, sure. So now we're to the point where I've got to play Obsidian's Outer Worlds for free for two and a half weeks. Uh, no questions asked. So yeah, the next day they refunded my dollar. Uh, so again, thanks Microsoft Pass. Thanks Obsidian for letting that go out there like that because that was a brand new game and you'd think something like that, AAA, would not go for a dollar on launch. So if you 
weren't able to take advantage of that opportunity, that sucks. But uh, I did, and it was definitely worth a refunded dollar. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, The Last of Us, part two. Okay, what do we know? It's been delayed. Okay, and uh, let's, let's see here. The Last of Us 2 has been delayed. Let's see here. A retailer leak suggested that The Last of Us 2, but instead would be coming in 2020. That's over at Kotaku. Um, I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay. I've, I anticipated this delay, okay? And I'm totally cool with that. Um, you know, they wanted to polish up some things. They didn't want to feel rushed. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and speculate. Uh, PS5 coming out next year as well. So, will we be seeing an immediate remastered version of The Last of Us Part 2 on PS5? Yes, I'll bet you $100. Okay. So, we know that's going to happen. But for a PS4 Pro copy, <coughs> excuse me, for a Pro copy, okay, that, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to come out, it's going to be fantastic, but... Man, I, I'm, I almost want to hold out, okay, for The Last of Us Part 2 on PS5, where I really don't want to play it on the PS4 Pro first. I want to hold out, okay, and then play it. Is that weird to think like that? Is that stupid? I guess it would be stupid because, you. I mean, what's the, the release schedule window from next spring to... We're assuming holiday season for PS5. We'll see PS5 unveiled in June at E3 um, if they announce that they're even going again. And uh, so, I don't know. Is that? I guess that seems stupid. You know, um, I, I guess I'm on the fence. Of course, I'm gonna get it for the PS4 Pro. Okay, of course I'm gonna get it. Um, multiplayer has been officially delayed, and it uh, sounds like it's not even gonna come on the disc. So is that going to be like a standalone multiplayer uh, when it finally comes out? You know, they're, they're going to give it some time. They're going to give it some time. You know, games like Red Dead Redemption did the same time. They held off on the online beta. Um, is it still in beta? It's always going to be in beta, Jesus Christ, even if it doesn't say. But um, totally cool with that, too, because the multiplayer experience, insane. Okay, love interrogation, love supply raid, absolutely love the multiplayer factions mode insane so i'm looking to see that counterpart follow up in the last of us part two really excited about that um what else do we know about the last of us part two uh the story is uh definitely going to feature joel we know joel's well alive and he's a part of the campaign he shows up and and she asks what the hell are you doing here so we're caught up on that um i don't think we have enough time to speculate but uh, uh we do know we're going to be starting around in seattle or playing in Seattle somewhere, um, you know, the clickers, the, the bloaters, the, the infected, uh, it, it all looks promising, it all looks absolutely gorgeous, I can't wait to fucking play it, absolutely can't wait to fucking play it, The Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog, I mean, you guys killed it, uh, fuck, to lay it as long as you want, I mean, we all know this, this uh, Naughty Dog typical kind of thing, and when I say typical, I mean that respectfully, I don't mean that sarcastically. Uh, they're known for delaying games to get it right. So, all right, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Until next time, I'll see you next video.